Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode from The Board Game Man. My name is Jamie Cloninger, and today we're going to look at a game from Renegade Game Studios. This game was from 2015. It's a tile placement game. And what we're going to do is we're going to visit the Harvest Festival today. When you make dedications, you get points. It is Lanterns. So let's head on over to the gamer's table, and I'll show you how to play... Lanterns, the Harvest Festival. All right, everybody, here we are at the gamers table. And let me go ahead and go over the components of the game, and then I'll show you how to play the game. And as you can see, it is brand new. Um, the cards haven't even been punched out yet. So I literally just got this a couple days ago. I couldn't wait to show you how to play this game. So here we are. Here we got the instruction booklet, which is very well done, beautifully done, all in color, of course. And there you have it. So very, very nice instruction booklet for lanterns. Here are the river tiles. As you can see, they're all blue. And then you have the lanterns that are in the water, along with the platform cards, which I'll be going over. You also have the, on, the dedication cards. These are the, how you score points in the game. You can see there's different colors and different point values and so on. Okay. You also have the favor tokens that are in the game. Here are the favor tokens along with the first player marker, which is a little boat. So there are the favor tokens. And then you have the lantern cards right here, still sealed. So let me go ahead and uh, open everything up and punch everything out, and we'll get going on the game. Okay, here we go. We've got them all laid out, got them all punched out, and this is how the setup works. What you're going to do is you're going to find the river tile that has the boat in the middle. This is your starter tile, okay? So what you'll do at the very beginning, you'll put a face down, all the players will sit down. It is a two to four player game. Everybody sits in their spot and then you'll turn the tile over. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna aim this to where the four players are sitting. So let's say for instance, we've got them at all four corners of the table here. This is the way you'd face it. If maybe you have two on one side, two on the other side, you might wanna kind of turn it like this. That way each one of these colors is facing a player. So that's one thing you really gotta watch out for when you when the player the players uh, placement here. What you're going to do is you're going to lay out all 56 lantern cards, eight each, laid out just like this. Okay. Each player is going to start off with three lake cards. And let me tell you what you can do during your turn. There is three options. Two of them are optional and one is mandatory. The first one is exchanging two favor tokens, which I'll go over in a moment. Two favor tokens, just like this. And you're going to switch one of the colors you have for another color. And I'll go over that in one moment, but that's one of the options you have at the beginning of your turn. Another one is making a dedication. And this is when you're cashing in your lantern cards for points. And here are your point cards here. These are the dedication cards. Now, how you make dedication points. What you need to do is you see here, the points will go down as the game goes on. So each person who takes one, it goes down to nine, nine, then it goes down to eight, and so on. So obviously the quicker you get these dedications, the better. Now on this one, you can see there's seven different colors on the bottom. So this is if you have one of each lantern in your possession, you can make a dedication, turn in those seven lantern cards, and get a dedication point, which is this here, and you get 10 points if you're the first one that does all uh, one of each color. You also have these. This one starts off at nine points, is three pairs. So you can see like so. It's a little bright here, sorry about that. But anyhow, let's see if you can see it better. There we go. So it's three pairs. Probably because that first one's white, it's hard to see. So you get three pairs is another way to score points. And then you also have four of a kind. And there's the four of a kind points as well. Okay. And finally, the placing of the tile. Placing a tile is the mandatory turn. At the end of your turn, you must uh, place a tile on the board. 
adjacent to a tile that's already on the board. And But the exchanging of the two tokens for changing one of the cards and also making a dedication is optional. So the only option um, that you have to do is lay down a tile at the end of your turn. So let's show you how this works. So at the very beginning of the game, you see the colors are facing the different players. Each player is going to receive that color lantern. So for instance, we'll say player one, two, three, and four are sitting like so. Player one would get a red lantern. Player two would get a blue lantern card. Player three would get a black lantern card. And player four would get a white lantern card. And now what he's going to do, since he doesn't have enough you know, it doesn't have any tokens to exchange. You don't have to worry about that. We're not making any dedications yet. We're at the very beginning of the game. You also, now now he has to go ahead and place his first tile. Whoever has the red facing them goes first in the game. Okay? So this player is going to look, and you can see there's all the different colors that are on here. You see all the different color lanterns that are on. Now, you do not have to match the color that you might. So you say you don't have to, you don't necessarily have to do this. You can do this. You can lay it however you want to do, okay? If you just do this, say you were to land, you were to place your tile just like so, each player would still get the color facing them. So in this case, if you were to lay the tile like this, player one would get a green, tile, uh, green lantern, he would get a red lantern, he would get a white lantern, and this player would get a white lantern. And then that's the end of your turn. Then you grab a tile from the tile. You always want to end your turn with three tiles. You always want to grab a tile at the end of your turn. That way you have three to start off your next turn. Now, let's say, for instance, he wanted to match that color. So let's go ahead and put these back, and let me show you what happens when you match the color. Say you go like this, and you put it up against the same color. You will get a bonus lantern with the colors that you matched. So, for instance, in this case... Player one would get a, another red lantern because the, those two matched the sides. He would also get a white lantern as well because this is the color facing him. So you actually you get two lantern tiles, which is really, really cool. Player two would get a green lantern. He would get a red lantern because it's facing player three. And then we have the white facing over here. So he would get the white lantern. And that's how that would work. Now, you got the next player over here. He decides he wants to look at this. And you can see he's gonna he's got a little did you let me show you that? That is platform card. And what happens with this is this is when the favor tokens come into play. Now the only way you get a favor token when landing down one of these tiles is if you match the color. This is the time when you have to match a color. Okay, in order to get the favor card. So you can see, so for instance, if he wants to get a favor token, he's going to play this card here that has a platform on it, and he's going to lay it right up against that green, like so. So what happens is he gets that bonus because these two colors match, so he's going to get a green lantern. He's also going to get a purple lantern because the purple is facing his direction. Okay. Player one's going to get a red lantern. And player three, uh, three over here is going to get a purple lantern as well. Okay. And then player one over here is going to get a green lantern because it's facing over here, player four. And that's how that works. Then, since he laid down a platform card and matched the color, he gets a favor token. Just like so. Only when you match the colors. Now, say he played that platform and he did this, he would... He would get just the, the purple tile, and that's it, and he would not get a favor token because he did not match the color. So let's say he did like this. Okay. Then he grabs a tile, replenishes his three tiles, and it moves on to this player over here. Actually, I forgot to put this one back when I was doing the... He shouldn't have that one. Okay. So now it is player three's turn. Player three is going to look and see what they have. And let's say he wants to go ahead and lay this here. So now he's going to get a gray one because that's a bonus because they match. So he's going to get a gray one here. A black one, I should say. They're black. So he's going to get a black token. I'm sorry, a black lantern. 
And then on top of that, he would get a blue one because that's facing him. That player would get a red. This player would get a green. And this player would get a black. Okay, just like that. So now it's this player's turn. I'll actually grab a tile. That way he has three to begin his next turn. Okay. Now what he wants to do is this. Let's see what he wants to do here. I want to show you an example how you do a dedication. He's going to go ahead and play this card. And he's going to do this. Okay. All right. So you're going to do this. All right. So what happens is, do, 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 let me lay this nice and even here. He's going to get the bonus purple because these are facing each other. So he's going to get a purple lantern. Okay. He's also going to get a purple lantern as well because that's the this is the color facing me. So you get a purple lantern as well. This player would get blue. This player would get white. And this player would get orange. Now he would also get that favor token because he's mat he's up against the platform card and he's the same color. So he still manages to get a favor token in his possession. And then right at that time, his turn would be done. And then he would grab another tile. Now let's say play goes around and now it is this player's turn. What he can do is he like to he goes, I would like to make a dedication. I have three pairs. Okay. He has three pairs. So what happens is, and this is before he lands his tile down, because obviously the tile is the very last thing you do in the game, on your turn, I should say. So what he does is he makes a dedication. He's going to turn in three pairs. He's going to get the top card here, and he's going to score nine points for the three pairs. He gets the nine, and then these go back in here, like so. And then he would lay down a tile and then get the, the, the lanterns of the colors that were facing him. Now, say this player had needed, let's see what he got. Let's see what he has, he has over here. He has two greens, blue. So it looks like he's pretty much trying to go for seven, one of each. He's just short. So let's just say he had an orange one here. And all he needed on this colors over here, you could, as you could tell, is a black. Okay. So say he had two of these favor tokens on his turn, okay? What he can do is at the very beginning of his turn, he can say, I would like to turn in, or I would like to exchange a lantern card. So what he'll do is he'll take these two favor tokens, turn them in, because I want to trade this green for a black. Now, all of a sudden, he can make a dedication because he has one of each color. So you're going to say, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to make a dedication. He pushes all these in, and he's going to get the 10 points, which is the highest point you can get in this game. He has one of each, and he gets the 10 points. So he's going to put the 10 points here. All these go back into the, the bank over here, and then play moves on. Okay? That is actually the first player took him goes here because he was the first player. Now what happens... As the game goes on, you're laying down tiles, you're getting in. And what's cool about this game is every, just about every turn, everyone's going to get a card on every turn. So you're not just sitting here waiting for your turn unless that color is out. So say this happened like this, and someone would play a card. I don't have a red. Let me see if I can show you here. So say this player laid down this card, or this, you know, this card here. This player would not get any more reds because the red is out. So that's unfortunate for that player he would not get a red lantern because they are out. So you have to have that lantern there in order for you to get a, get a card. So you can put that into your strategy as well. When you know another player is getting pretty close, you can actually lay down a, a tile that's facing the color of that player that there's no longer lanterns on the board. And that way they would not get a card. So that's something you want to keep in mind as well. So that's pretty much how the game works. You're going to lay down a tile. Uh, first, you're going to... See if you want to switch out a, a lantern card with two of these favor tokens. And let me tell you, let me go over the points at the end of the game. So what happens, pretty much, you're going to add up all of these points. And that's pretty much your point spread. Now, for the favor tokens. Now, when it happens in a tiebreaker, 
you do not get any points for the favor tokens at the end of the game. So if you have them, use them, okay? Because at the end of the game, these work as a tiebreaker. And if you are still tied, say there's two players that have the same amount of points, they both have two favor tokens left, then you would move on to the lantern cards. And whoever has the most lantern cards in their hand wins the game. So you want to keep that in mind as well. But you, And what happens is at the end of the game, when all of the tiles have been used, the last player uses his last lake card, his tile. Last lake tile is laid down. Everyone has one final turn. Okay, one final turn to cash in some points if you can. If you want to turn in some favor tokens for another lantern that you might need to put get some extra points, you can do that. Or you can make some dedications on your last turn, but it's one dedication and one exchange per turn. That is it. You can't do multiples. Let me go over the fours. You're probably wondering, hmm, what are these plain fours are for? Say, for instance, all the four of a kinds are, are gone. So say one of these point things are gone, the dedication points are gone. That's when, if you, if you were, say the four of a kinds were gone, and you got another four of a kind, you would simply grab a plain four and you would get the four points for whichever one that there, there's no longer any dedication points for. So that's what the plain fours are for, is if you're out of the four of a kind, or you're out of the two, the three pairs, or you're out of the seven, one of each, then these will kind of, as a backup, you get the four points. And that, my friends, is Lanterns. What a great game, right? So like I said, the, high, the person with the highest amount of points at the end of the game, wins. And if there's a tie, you go on to favor tokens. If someone still has the same amount of favor, to I'm sorry, <laughs> favor tokens, then you move on to the lantern cards. Whoever has the most lantern cards wins the game. And of course, if you're still tied after all that, then you share the victory, as they say. And you also have these little turn sequence cards here as well. So this helps you along for each player It'll tell you the different turn sequence, whether you want to exchange two for one, if you want to do a dedication, get points, and then you place a tile. It also has the three sets of points that you can get on the back of the card, the four of a kind, three pair, and the one of each. And that, my friends, is Lanterns.